What's going on, guys? It's uh, Noah back for um, doing pretty well, honestly, with the uploads. Doing better than I thought I would. Um, today, I wanted to do just a little bit of a different video from what I've done. I wanted to just kind of take a step back, look at the F1 card market entirely, take a look at quite a few guys. You can see by all the tabs I have open. And uh, just some basic stuff. Might help some people just getting F1 to kind of know the market right now. I think it'd be helpful. And uh, before I go farther, I have uh, my 50 subscriber giveaway that will be ending tomorrow. I am giving away a George Russell base card and a Lewis Hamilton number to 174 refractor. So yeah, uh, best of luck. That ends um, Wednesday at 10 o'clock. So best of luck. And without further ado, let's get in into it. Um, from the new people watching, this I only do one take. So however this one take goes is what's going to happen. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I think it's only really fair for the start. We look at Lewis Hamilton, as he is the biggest name by far. He's who everybody's the casual people know. He's who they're chasing. So I think kind of just jumping in to this market might be beneficial. So the main thing I had here on Lewis Hamilton was um, I pulled up a PSA nine sale that's going that sold for five hundred fifty six dollars. PSA nine, great card. Uh, I didn't quite check the back, but I'd assume it's just. Pretty solid card. And the thing that shocked me by this is this is I found this somebody's posted this in the Discord. I can't remember who it was. Shout out to them. But um they found this sale, um, which was from a day earlier that sold for a raw card sold for six hundred and sixty dollars. So yeah, just like everything else, people are chasing the tens. So I think this sale right here is just really strong for F1 cards. Almost touching $700. I mean, the 9, I think that 9 was just low. The 660 is just, like I said, really strong sale. I can see this going even higher. I wouldn't be surprised at the end of the year this gets this creeps up to the eight to $900 range as more of these boxes are being opened and they're harder to find. Pretty sure the print run on any base card in Sapphire is close to about two to 3,000, so they're all really low copies made. And um, so, yeah, I looked at the Sapphires, but I figured I had to kind of just take a look at the base. So we jump over to Card Ladder for his just base Chrome card with a return over the past three months being uh, 57, close to 60%. So this kind of just shows, let's see, I think the, I'm, trying, I'm doing some math in my head. When was July? That was the that was eight. No, August was eight. So it was seven. So yeah, let's say right around here is when F1 started to take off this 98 to 85 range. And as you can see, this was the lowest point that it was at. Video came out that F1 is worth buying and it goes from 87 up to 170. That is almost 100% return, which is incredibly strong over the course of three months. So I think right now, um, Hamilton's flying high. He's leading the championship right now in a tight battle. And we'll jump over to his competitor in the championship battle for Stappen next. Again, took a look at his um, Chrome Sapphire with a sale of 250 USD. And when I first saw this, it seemed a tad, a tad low. And the reason I say it's a tad low is I think of just the big stars in Formula One. And we're going to get to um, three of the other ones, but arguably the number two biggest star is Verstappen. You'd argue he's going to hold the second most weight and value. And his value of $250 is not even quite half of what Hamilton goes. And that just jumps out to me as just being a little too low. Now, I don't think it's unreasonable price, but I think over the course of the next month or two, like I said, I think this will correct. And then these will go up a little bit higher when people find out how hard these are, how, how hard they are to find, how hard they are to gem. So I would expect this in the next two months. You know, I think it's going to pass this 250. This is the last sale. I'm, I could see it creeping up to 300 to 350, closing in around there as it tries to catch Hamilton. I don't think it quite will ever. I th honestly think it will hover right around the 60% range of what Hamilton's worth, being he's the second biggest star. That is a ratio that I'd be comfortable buying him at anything under 60% of Hamilton's price. So if we go to Hamilton's raw, 
um, where we're using this raw price, we'll use this PSA 9. If yeah, 60% of this is going to be what? Uh, 280, about 280, 290 of this. So I think anything under there is a pretty easy buy. Anything over, just do a little more research. But I think you can still do quite well with those two. So going on to the uh, most popular, I would say the, the biggest fan favorite driver, uh, Lando Norris. This is also one of the reasons why I say for staffing is too low. Right now, Lando Norris doesn't have his win yet. Almost had it in Russia, but not quite. And he's trending at $182 for a Sapphire. Now, when I was first looking at it, this the I had to determine, do I think Lando's too high? Or do I think Verstappen is too low? And I came to the conclusion that I think it's mostly Verstappen being too low, but I think this price is aggressive, aggressive as a buy, but I can I can let it slide just because of him being such a big icon, big popular name, driving for McLaren, teammates with Danny Rick, who already won this year, new cars coming in, new cars coming in next year, so. I see all the valid reasons why, but man, it's just hard for me to think that, like, what Verstappen is what only forty percent worth worth forty percent higher than Lando. That seems too low for Verstappen for how many races he's won. What maybe close to fifteen races, ten races. So this this seems pretty fair, but I think honestly this just shows that Verstappen is a little low right now. Especially considering he's only what six, seven points back of the championship right now. Pretty good idea to check that out. Another reason why I think um, Lando might be a tad high, and uh, Verstappen's undervalued is um, this George Russell sale that happened. This was yesterday, right about twenty four hours from when I'm filming this. This ended up at one eighty five. This seems completely reasonable for Lando, for uh, George Russell getting the Mercedes seat next year. Going to be teaming with Lewis Hamilton. He's going to have the name recognition of driving for Mercedes. Everything with this just checks out. Plus, he's probably been one of the. He's been incredible this season driving for Williams. So, and this is more than warranted for 185. Granted, I like Russell probably more than an average person does. So take that into account for what I'm saying, but. I still think this is a great buy at the price. I don't think you can go wrong at 180. I mean, would I buy at 180? I don't have the most cash on me, so I don't think I'd buy at 180. But if I saw something for anything under 150, it would be an easy automatic buy for me. Anything over 150, I'll have to just check a little bit of research. But I think anything under 185, you're doing pretty solid with, with Russell. You're going to have to wait a little while until he starts doing well next season. And that could even take a while with people struggling going into new cars. But pretty decent chance for Russell to have a good gain. I don't know. I think this price at right around 180 to 200 will stay pretty firm. Go to the off season, so you don't have to worry about it rapidly spiking, at least in my opinion. I'm not worrying about it. And uh, people who have watched my channel know this is my, I've been saying, the best buy. Leclerc, Charles Leclerc for Ferrari. Most recent sale I found was a um, Sapphire for 80 USD. This sale just screams being too low. And I'll keep saying it every time Leclerc comes up. People on Discord will hate me because I always try to push it. But this price is too low. And I'll tell you why it's too low. When we look at Lando Norris and we look at George Russell, Neither of these guys have wins, first of all. That's a big thing. Not proven to be race winners. Do I think they're both one in the future? Absolutely. I think they're one in the future, but they don't drive for name brand Ferrari. If you ask a casual person, an F1 team, first one, Ferrari. They have the legacy of Schumacher. They have the legacy of Prost. This is just the way you go, I think. If you're looking for the best buy, eighty dollars is too low. I gotta keep. I'm gonna keep hammering it. It's too low. It's too low for how good Leclerc is. Next season, very real shot that Ferrari is contending for race wins again. And if that's happening for race wins, and if Lewis Hamilton is in a title fight with Leclerc next year and Verstappen, 
we see this 80. But we'll even compare to Verstappen. This card should be at least worth half of Verstappen, at least. And the fact that it's worth almost a quarter, a little more over a quarter, I'd say maybe a third. A third of the price is ridiculous for how big of a talent Leclerc is. I'll keep saying it. This is the guy to buy. Yeah, I'm going to keep on continuing to buy him. Put my money where my mouth is. Just bought a few or traded for a few a few weeks ago. So uh, that kind of shows where I'm at with him. Last two things I wanted to look at. I wanted to go to the sealed market. I know there's a few people holding sealed boxes. This was a uh, Topps Chrome, uh, just hobby box, not Sapphire. It's a really strong sale here at $1,800. I mean, this is red hot. Like, if I had a box, I'd be looking to sell. I had a box, said I was going to hold it. <laughs> people know I lasted one day before I broke mine, but if you have a box, I would look to, let's say you have four of them, look to offset and move two of them at this price. This price is so strong. And I get how rare it is. But man, $1,800 is insane for this. And the reason I say it's insane for this is, guess what Sapphire sold for? Same exact price at $1,799. And I, uh, people argue this, but I think Topps Chrome is, I keep going back and forth. I still think Topps Chrome might be the best sealed. Until Topps Chrome Sapphire will be the best sealed until more a couple more of the Lewis Hamilton big low numbers are pulled. Once that happens, I have no doubt in my mind this is where to go for the autographs. This because for people who don't know, I forget. I'm I'm trying to appeal to everybody. Um, Sapphire uh, does not have autographs in it. You only get four parallels or short prints, so no autograph guarantee. These chrome, backs, these chrome boxes come, look for chrome autograph says right there, come one in every other box. So uh, last time I checked, I really should have pulled it up. The Lewis Hamilton Auto transfer right around $15,000, which is a great price, obviously. So yeah, I think this is kind of just where we're at with Formula One. Like I said, I think Hamilton has some room to go up, especially being, this is a little strong, but I wouldn't be surprised if this closes in on 800 towards the end of the year. Uh, Verstappen is still... Uh, not still. He's This is right around what I bought at in... Right at the National, I bought at 250. So no movement seems a little conservative here. I think this should be... We'll close right around to 300, 350 by the end of the year. Lando Norris, I think this is right in line just with the George Russell. I think both will close the year right around this 180 to 200 mark. Um, this George Russell, this, like I said, we're doing 200, this Leclerc, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to go too crazy, but I think this will close up to $120 in the end of the year up for a 50% gain. And, um, I think before I end, I should say what this means for the broader picture of the card market in general, having these formula one cards not go away over the, over these last few months since uh, the national have been really huge for the market. And the reason why this is so big for the market is right when Formula One cards came out, everybody was saying, it's a fad, it's a fad, it won't last, nobody actually watches, nobody's going to buy them, all this different type of stuff. And they were saying, oh, look at the tennis market. It came up with Serena's, came back down the next month. With F1 holding steady over these last three months, it has... The, um, the trajectory, like I've said to many people, of the soccer market, it's going that way, that those big high-end stuff. This year we're getting those, that lower-end stuff with the 2021 paper, the 2021 Chrome, which is right around 800 a box. We're going to be going there. Now, um, as somebody who loves F1, it's um, good and bad. I will uh, say that because some of my cards are doing quite well right now, which is... I have no complaints with, but uh, hard for me to buy, which is a um, double-edged sword. But um, yeah, I hope this kind of this quick, I don't know how long this video actually went, but hopefully this kind of overview of all the drivers, some of the hobby boxes, kind of the current state of F1. 
kind of helped you just kind of understand a little bit more about the market. If you're new, if you're a veteran in this market, you kind of just get a little bit more up to date of what's going on. So yeah, um, before I go, I'll once again say subscribe, be able to join the giveaway. It's in my previous video, so go watch that. It's only two or three minutes, so I'm not trying to waste anybody's time with that for the chance to win those two cards. But yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I uh, hope this video made you happy by F1 cards. Maybe you'll just like hearing my voice talk about the cards because I'm so bad at posting. Uh, yeah, hope just anything like that. Hope you guys have a great day. Buy F1 cards and... Uh, yeah, for, uh, I'll say how about Bubba Wallace for my uh, for the people who love this channel, just to uh, end on that. So, uh, hope you guys have a great day, and I will uh, see you in the next video. See ya.